What's up, YouTubers? Good to see y'all again. Cheers to you. Pretty good. I'm gonna do a recipe I saw on the uh, on Facebook that I've never heard of doing meat uh, meatloaf in the uh, crock pot. It's supposed to be real good. I was gonna do a smoked one, and I'll probably do it again sometime, but. This looked really cool and something I haven't seen of or heard of. A lot of you probably haven't either. But uh, I suppose it comes out really juicy. The meat, you know, didn't dry out. But I'm going to pretty much go by the recipe that, that's listed. I'll show you. Let me show you what we got. All right, I got two pounds. You're supposed to have 90%. That's what they recommend. I only had, I got 80 20. I'm going to use one medium, one of these onions. You can use whatever kind of onion you have, one medium onion, two pounds of beef, two large eggs, half cup of crushed uh, buttery crackers like these, townhouse type crackers or whatever, Ritz. Uh, we got a half cup of ketchup, which is half goes in here and half goes on the glaze. Quarter cup of milk, tablespoon of Worcestershire, teaspoon of salt, one teaspoon of ground black pepper, Half a teaspoon of garlic powder, I'll probably put more. Two tablespoons of brown sugar and one teaspoon of yellow mustard, that's for the glaze. So in here we're going to put um, a chopped onion, two pounds of beef, the eggs, cracker crumbs, and a quarter cup of ketchup, milk, Worcestershire sauce, salt, pepper, and garlic powder and mix it up. And I'll show you. I'm going to save you the trouble. i got the handy chopper for the onion. And uh, I'll get it all ready and I'll show you. Okay, so I'll post the ingredients below so you can print it up. Here's a uh, little more than a half cup. Crackers crunched up. Uh, we got quarter cup milk. Got. See, we got a tablespoon of Worcestershire. Medium onion. Two large eggs. Drippy mess. Two eggs. Hold on. The egg jizz on my hand. Quarter cup ketchup. Looks like a quarter cup on it. Let's see, some salt, uh, what do we got, a teaspoon of salt. Teaspoon of pepper. I'm going to go with a teaspoon of garlic powder, pretty much. Dark granulated. I'm going to put some onion powder. Teaspoon. What else? Garlic, that's it. Milk's in there. I'm going to mix it up. You don't need to watch all that. And then I'll show you next step. Alright, I got the meat mixed up. Now we'll make this the uh, topping real quick. Two tablespoons of brown sugar. Quarter cup of ketchup. And a teaspoon of uh, yellow mustard. Just 
Let's see. Let me mix this up and we'll put it on top after we get it in the crock pot. Now they're talking about using uh, non-stick foil to coat the uh, crock pot, but I, I don't have any and I'm not, I'm not worried about it. It's not going to stick. So I'm going to spray this crock pot with a uh, non-stick spray. Where you at? Take the meat over here and form a loaf in it. I was going to put this on something to keep it up out of the grease, but I uh, decided it'll be fine. Spread this on top of here. Like I said, you can put other stuff. You want to put green peppers and you, whatever you want in here. I'm just going by this recipe because it sounded pretty good. With the Ritz crackers, I've never done that. Or I've never done it in the crock pot. So, easy. Let me get something to spread this out with. And then, let's see, there's two ways you can do it. You can do it on high for two and a half to three hours, or on low for four to five hours. I'm doing mine on high because it's time to eat soon, and I didn't do this early as I wanted to, but either way, it'll be just as good, I'm sure. So just spread that stuff around the top. Like I said, if you, you want to put cayenne powder in your, whatever. Put whatever you like in there. Uh, I'm just doing it this way and I'll see how it is next time I'll add more stuff to it. So we're going to go on high. We're going to have to uh, three hours and then I'll take you back and we'll check it out. All right. Oh. Oh, this is smelling good. It's been two, what the hell time? About two hours, a little over two hours. And it's smelling good. <laughs> Yum. Let's check it out. Let's take a temp. We're going to check it. Temp check. It's only 132. So we got a little while to go. Yum. Smells good. Okay. It's, oh shit. <laughs> Let me have another drink. Hold on. <laughs> there we go. We're up to temperature. I've been checking it. It's about two and a half hours. I'm gonna take it out of this grease pit. Wow. Easier said than done. Oh, I was going to get right up under it with one swift. There we go. Let the grease get out of the pan. Here we go. Where are you at? You see that? It's sexy. Sexy meat loaf for waiting for you. It's wanting to make love to your mouse. Let's go ahead and cut into this bastard. Well, of course, no knife. 
knife there. Oh yeah. Yum. Yum. See the red onions in there. Look at that. Sweet. Let me get this plated up and we'll uh Trying to take pictures of it, I don't know if it's working. Let me get it plated up and then we'll uh, take a test, taste test of it. Yum. Alright, let's get a legitimate taste of this. I had a little bit and I was about fell down and started crying because it was so damn good. I'm telling you. Let's try it again. Mmm. 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 That's good. Everything you want in a meatloaf right there. Mmm. Mm. I should have made gravy. Mm. I'm glad that it doesn't need it. That's good. That's excellent. Do like I said. If you want to add stuff to it, do it. But try the crock pot uh, meatloaf out. It's excellent. Another way to do it. Easier. Check it out. Alright, thanks for watching. Love you all. Bye.